Voter trends and opinions are beginning to shift since the November election, and now we're looking into whether that will continue in light of what happened at the U.S. Capitol building. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson has been analyzing trends through our AP VoteCast tool. Scott? I have been, Joy. This was specifically a survey of thousands of voters who we talked to before the election and then just before this past days, this past Tuesday's Georgia Senate races. We see some dramatic changes among voter attitudes. Look at perhaps one of the most telling numbers in the Associated Press VoteCast survey of Georgia voters of whether the country is heading in the right direction. For example, looking at voters who chose a Republican, David Perdue, in the November election, at the time, 74% said it was heading in the right direction to 25% saying the wrong direction. Compare that to the survey of voters in this week's Georgia Senate runoffs. Among voters choosing Purdue, now only 30% saying it's heading in the right direction, with 69% saying the wrong one. On the other side of the aisle, looking at voters choosing Democrat John Ossoff in November, only 8% said it was heading in the right direction, with 92% saying the country was on the wrong track. Now that the presidential election is behind us, of the Georgia voters choosing Ossoff in the Senate runoffs, their outlook is improving a bit. 39% now say the country is heading in the right direction, 60% saying the wrong one in the AP VoteCast survey. UNF political pollster Michael Binder says these numbers aren't surprising. It's entirely about partisanship and the fact that Joe Biden won the presidency. Uh, that that's not shocking to see. Looking at attitudes toward President Trump among voters choosing Republicans in the November election, 89 percent of David Perdue's voters said they had a very or somewhat favorable opinion of the president. 10 percent had a very or somewhat unfavorable opinion. Compare that to the results of the AP VoteCast survey for this week's runoffs. Among Purdue voters, views of the president remain similar with 87 percent favorable to 12 percent unfavorable. Binder says that could change after the chaos at the Capitol. It is a wildly different ball game after what happened on Wednesday. I would fully expect, obviously, there are Trump supporters that are going to be Trump supporters, and that's fine. But I think a large chunk of the Republican Party is going to step away after what they've witnessed this past week. I also mentioned that number that shows Democrats have improved their view of the direction of the country going up, but still under 50 percent, even after Biden won and took Democrats took both houses of Congress. Binder says that's not surprising in light of the current political climate, as well as issues with the pandemic.